Hey YouTube! Um, so, I hope everybody's holiday, Christmas, whatever you celebrate, went okay. Um, at my house, we were all really sick during like the whole week prior to Christmas and this week and today we're all just kind of getting out of it and it's so weird. Usually we're all not sick together but this time we were so I'm sorry if I'm a little stuffed up but I can't really help that. But I do. Wait where is it? There it is. Have Candy Cane Land Tea. It's by, who's it by? Celestial Seasonings or something? It is heaven in a glass. Um, and it's really hot. Um, so yeah. And I really wanted to make more videos during this little time off that I had, but... Oh well. <laughs> um, today I kind of wanted to talk about showing scars. Not that I'm going to show any in this video, okay? I'm just going to say that right now. There are going to be no scars in this video. <laughs> um, but I kind of wanted to give ideas, because you can't hide them forever. You can try, but you can't. <laughs> um, and eventually it's just easier to start showing them and, you know, see what happens. So, um, my first tip would be to, um, why do my nose, I swear, every time I make a video, my nose is like, it itches so bad. Okay. Um, okay, my first tip would be, I guess primarily for ladies, um, Go to a salon or something and get your nails done. Of course, mine aren't done right now, but I have been going and getting them done lately um, and getting a full manicure because, you know, for 12 bucks, where I live, it's 12 bucks. Um, you know, you get your nails done and you get your hands massaged and all the way up to your elbows and it's all massaged. It feels really good. And if you have scars on your wrists and stuff, um, it does, they do exfoliate and everything, so it does help with softening the scars and making them less visible. But what I found out was that um, where I live, there's a lot of salons that the, the people barely speak English, so it helps out a lot. Because even if they ask, I can't really explain it to them. And... So normally they just don't ask, you know. They'll just say, "Oh, you got you got scratch." I was like, yeah, I know. Thanks. <laughs> um, but that was one of my biggest things to, I guess, um, practice showing my scars, um, and to it kind of helped, you know, soften them and make them less visible. So that's where I would start, honestly. Um, the next thing would be just to wear short sleeves or, you know, just go out in public where you're comfortable going. And if people ask, you know, I tend to either say, depending on who they are, nothing, you know, don't worry about it. Um, or if they're a friend that, you know, generally cares, I'll just say, you know, I used to have some issues, but I'm okay now. Um, and if it's some random person off the side of the street, I, I'm usually pretty nice, and I'll just say, you know, don't worry about it. <laughs> but sometimes I'll make up some outlandish thing like, you know, I, I got beat up by a, z a zebra and a moose, and I didn't win. But, um, you know. That's, that's only if I want to laugh or something. Um, but chances are people aren't going to notice. You know, people that are really close to you might notice, but they might already know, you know, what's going on. Um, and I find, out, I find that a lot of people that 
I'm really close to that don't know about it, they just, they don't bother asking. I know they see it, and I know they can probably, they could easily ask, and I'd probably tell them, but most of the time, they, they just, I don't know, if, if this, if the roles were reversed, I'd be like, you know, I don't know what that is, and I don't care to know what that is, you know, I love them as a person, and that's all that matters, and that's, I'm very, very blessed to have a lot of friends like that, so, um, I guess the next big thing is going to doctors and everything, um, uh, and there's really no easy way, because doctors all have their opinion, and, you know, no matter how you spill it to them, they're going to think one way or another. They're going to think, well, you know, good for you, you stopped, you're strong, or they're going to think, oh my god, you're insane, um, in my experience at least. Anyway, um, so, you know, I've had a lot of dealing with some doctors lately, um, because I have really, really bad veins, like, they cannot put an IV in me, they cannot draw blood, I mean, they have to poke me several times just to find one, it's like, I don't understand, <laughs> but, um, you know, I've been having a lot of testing done to do with my stomach and everything, and, um, there's been a couple tests where they either need blood or need an IV, and, of course, they look at my arms, and there's a lot of, while they're faded, they're pretty noticeable, you know, um, and I find the best, absolute best way to deal with the doctors is just say, I used to have some problems with self-injury, but I don't anymore, and normally, for me, they usually go off into well, I'm so glad, you know, um, or, oh, I knew my friend's daughter struggled with that or something, um, and they'll go off to a random story, um, which is honestly a little comforting to hear, um, but, you know, I, I just always feel better no matter if their reaction is, is that and it's nice or if their reaction is like well you shouldn't do that you you know you you could do some damage with that you you look at what you've done to yourself you know I've had those people as well and regardless it still makes me feel better that I told the truth um so yeah um so yeah I just wanted to give you some ideas as far as what to do when you are at the doctors and just practice showing them and the more you practice the you know with with people asking questions and the more you just say don't worry about it or I used to have problems and I don't now um and by the way about the whole I used to have issue with self-injury and I don't now you don't have to be completely out of self-injury to say that you know if you've gone two hours without injuring yourself you can say I used to have a problem. I mean, that, I guess that's fudging it a little bit, but you know what I mean? You always got to think on the positive side of things, and, you know, anyway. Um, so, yeah, those are my tips.